Hey guys, it's time for another book review, and this one is for The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, and I do have a written review of this book up. I think I put it up on Thursday, and I'm, I apologize that I haven't had a chance to actually make a video about it, but I've just been trying to think about how I wanted to make the review, and um, yeah, so it was just, it was hard to kind of articulate my thoughts together, but anyway. This book, oh, it was a 5 out of 5 for me. Definitely my favorite of his books, like ultimate favorite. I would give my kidneys, my lungs, anything to have like a 14th of John Green's talent, especially in this book. The writing was absolutely gorgeous. It was so heartbreaking, and you could feel it like pulsing. His writing made, oh god, it's so alive. The writing that he did is just, the characters were alive. They weren't characters to me, they were people. And I love how it just completely blew me away and made me cry, made me laugh, made me just want to be a better person and not take life for granted. And Hazel definitely did that for me. Hazel is a 16-year-old girl who has a thyroid cancer and she has mets in her lungs and she was put on a new drug and the mets weren't getting larger. They weren't getting smaller but they weren't getting larger so they just kind of were kind of there and so they had all the reason to believe that you know she was kind of in remission and so she still is resigned that she is probably going to die but um, it's a, it's just on hold at the time. And so she goes to this cancer um, support group and she meets Augustus Waters. Swoon! Augustus Waters. He's so lovely. And so she just is learning about life and learning about acceptance and people and feelings and oh my god it's just gorgeous 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 i cried so much in this book oh my god especially in the last like four chapters i was a mess laura is something wrong are you okay no i'm fine oh i'm fine <laughs> so yeah that was pretty much my weekend what i did <laughs> i cried all day i could never ever find a man like Augustus Waters, like my, my, oh, I don't even, I can't even articulate this. What am I talking about? <sighs> what is it called? Augustus. My expectations for men are completely skyrocketed because they will never be Augustus Waters. I think I will be single the rest of my life looking for Augustus Waters. He is that amazing. He is so funny and he's so, he's so, um, he questions everything and he can be an ass sometimes but he's so like not in a, b a bad way he's just like he challenges everything you say and everything's in a, a debate but it's so good it's oh god it's just so heartbreaking and the characters were so real they they just oh this book was so amazing i know i keep saying that but you guys really need to read it and it completely highlights what's important to us what what happens when we really die what you know like what our family is going to say or are you really going to accept death or are you going to fight for what you believe in and fight for your life and are you ready to die like is all of your things together are you really acceptant of acceptant accepting <laughs> of death and just oh god i am so jealous of everybody who hasn't read this book yet because there is nothing better than the feeling of oh my gosh this book is amazing that first feeling I am so jealous of you guys if you haven't read it yet please read it because it is so good it's such a treat and it's wonderful and it's a gift John gave us it is a complete gift and when I started a reading it I just knew that it was going to be something big and I knew it was going to be something that I was going to love and I knew that it would be very impactful for me. So I knew that going in and ever since then I have just been a complete mess because there's no other books like this and I started reading another one and I just kept thinking about this one thinking what like oh my gosh there's nothing like this book so I'm going to definitely have to buy this book and read it again and again and again and again because it's that amazing and I love it so much definitely my favorite I thought um 
Looking for Alaska was my favorite, but this one is completely my favorite. Um, my two favorite quotes from this book are uh, when Hazel is talking about how she found out she had cancer. And she found out she had cancer when she first started her period. And so um, she was talking about something along the lines of her body was saying, Congratulations, you're a woman. Now go die. <laughs> And it was just so funny, and she is funny, and she's hilarious. She has the same kind of humor that I do, well, John Green does, but I consider Hazel a real person, so I'm going to say her. And then the other one is when they go visit someone, and he says, what a slut time is. It screws everybody. <laughs> it just made me laugh. I thought that was hilarious. Just, like, the little jokes in here are so funny, and they're so, like, this is what I am. You're not going to change for anybody, and the humor is just very direct and very, um, just, the timing is perfect. And it just made me laugh, it made me cry, it was a gorgeous, gorgeous book, and I loved it so much, and you guys really need to read it because it really is fabulous. So, that is the, my, my review, guys. Five out of five, definitely go read it. If you guys don't like it, what is the matter with you? It is a great book, and... The inside in this book is just fabulous and beautiful and heartbreaking. And I just don't know what I'm going to do with myself anymore. I'm just kind of existing right now because I'm so sad. But yeah, The Fall Tenor Starts. Definitely go read it. You guys need to. And it's gorgeous. So um, I am reading right now. Well, I was. Pretty Little Secrets by Sarah Shepard. But I just couldn't get into it. Um... I don't know, I just didn't like it that much. So I'm going to pick a different book to read. And that will be listed on my Goodreads as well as my blog if you guys are interested. So, yeah, I hope you guys are having a good Sunday night. Getting ready to get back into the workforce. But, yeah, I hope you guys have a good night. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.